wow guys this area is nice there's like a lot of trees and i don't know it just it's just a nice look little looking People area have land wow what's up everybody welcome back to my channel so today we are checking out brandon florida so brandon florida is uh i'd say a little town slash city here um in hillsborough county brandon florida it's a little south of tampa and um i'd say it's a decent size it's not as big as tampa but it's not as small as ruskin or sun city center like in my last videos so brandon is an unincorporated community in hillsborough county florida it is part of the tampa st petersburg clearwater metropolitan area and like I said, um, Brandon has a decent size. There's a, a lot, there's a shopping mall here. There's other shopping plazas. Um, there's a lot of restaurants. So it's pretty big, you know, not as big as Tampa, but it's pretty big. I don't think they have their own downtown, but yeah, guys. So let me give you some facts about Brandon. Not sure what year this is, but what I found is the total population is 111,054 um so most of the population is age 35 to 54 at 27 percent um the next big chunk of population is 25 to 34 at 17 percent and the next one is 5 to 17 so as y'all can see the population here in brandon is mainly a younger population um and here in brandon you have a little mix of different ethnicities the median household income here in um Brandon is actually 59,000 and then as far as race and ethnicity white seems to be the biggest population at 49% Hispanic comes next at 25 and then black or African American at 16 and then the other ones come very low so so yeah guys that's some information and guys if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this um, like and share this video the more you guys like and share um, <clears throat> the more I can get my channel to more viewers like you to help you guys out and uh, show you guys these communities in different cities here in Florida but as y'all can see we're like in the center there's a lot of businesses here on both sides We got a Portillo's there on the left. If you guys haven't tried the um, birthday cake, no, the chocolate cake shake, y'all should try it out. Pretty good. Tibby's New Orleans Kitchen here on the right. A lot of shopping plazas here. All right, guys, so we're here in this little shopping plaza. Um, I'm about to go drive and hopefully find a neighborhood where there's homes um brandon is kind of big so let's just see let's just see what we find um around here um it's starting to get dark it's already five so hopefully we can beat the um the traffic or i mean not the traffic the sun so right now we're on king's avenue i'm about to turn a right now we have to be careful here because if we go too far this way, I believe it'll turn into Valrico and that's a whole nother area. And Valrico is a really nice area, but that's not Brandon. Um, Oakfield, so this is still Brandon right here. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like we're coming up to some neighborhoods here. We're gonna pull in soon. Let's go ahead and Take a left here. See what we got. Oh, wrong one. Not here. Too soon. Let's go ahead on the next little road. I'm gonna turn right here, guys. Looks like it has a dead end. So this is Deborah Lynn Drive, right here in Brandon, Florida. So let's see. We have a little variety of homes here looks like some old homes brick homes so this is more 
like your typical neighborhood that I'm used to, you know. Not everyone's grass is kept. It looks like some houses need a little TLC. But overall, wow, look, there's a lot of brick homes in this area. These are like old style homes. But overall, it's actually pretty nice, this area. What do you think? This yeah. Brandon area, take a look at it. it reminds me of back home. Back home. Yeah, it kind of does. Honestly, guys, this area doesn't have a Florida vibe to it. At least this road right here, it has a northern vibe. Um, so it doesn't really give off that Florida vibe. But but, sure dead yeah, so we're at a dead end, so we're about to turn around and check out another road. Also, guys, for any of you watching this video, comment down below. Let me know where you guys are watching this video from what part of the United States or the world you guys are from and why you checked out this video, um, whether you're just bored or you're curious um, to what these neighborhoods look like, let me know in the comments below. Yeah, guys, look at these homes. I like I like this vibe, honestly. It's, well, it's different, but I don't know. There's something about it. Like this area, there's a lot of trees out here and it just, it gives off a different vibe than like the coastal part of Florida when you're near the beach and stuff. So we're gonna actually pull in. Actually, we're gonna turn right here. <clears throat> so let's see, we're gonna pull into one of these random streets here. So this one is called Larry Ellen way wow guys another road with like that northern vibe a lot of brick homes that's that's very uh different you know you don't really expect that much from this area of uh florida from what i've grown up here in the in the tampa bay area and stuff what i've seen the homes not a lot of brick homes they're different styles but yeah you can see there's a little variety here of homes a lot of dead end streets. Pull this way. Yeah, let's turn right here. Let's see what's over here. Guys, I really like this area actually. It's actually pretty nice. Not gonna lie. So we're gonna go this way and check it out. A lot of brick homes. It's starting to make me think that a lot of the homes here were built um a long time ago that's that's what i'm thinking but i'm not 100 percent sure now that one is nice oh wow it's pretty yeah it's okay but not bad <clears throat> it's funny guys because when i'm driving and there's people sometimes i guess they see the camera and they kind of just stare you know wondering what i'm doing but wow guys this area is nice there's like a lot of trees and i don't know it just it's just a nice look little looking you area have land wow this is pretty nice but like i said these homes they look like northern homes which is weird all right, all right so it looks like we got a church up front we're on lumsden road um we're gonna go ahead and take a right here there's a lot of traffic here i would say this is probably just as bad as tampa to be honest here in brandon there is always a lot of traffic all right so we're approaching king's avenue which was the road we were on we're gonna keep going straight here Looks like we're about to hit some more shopping plazas. All right, guys. So we're passing Brandon. Um, this is Brandon Parkway. This is this takes you to the mall. It's a major road here. Looks like there's a lot of homes over here. All right, guys. So we're gonna pull into here a random area of Brandon. 
like I said I don't really know the area all I know about Brandon is the mall and some of the restaurants so don't really know these neighborhoods but we're about to check one out before the sun goes down it's about to get dark all right guys so we're entering a community called heather lakes so it looks like this is a nice like one of those types of uh gated not gated but kind of closed in communities uh let's go check it out let's not speak too soon let's enter in this road and see so this is the fox Borough road okay so so far let's see what we find here so different a different vibe definitely from what we were just in where we had like a northern vibe this right here gives me more of a florida vibe although i would say these homes here they look like they might be kind of old um and i would say it's like in the middle ground i'd say it's not a nice community but it's also not like the ghetto right what do you think look at these homes yeah, like they like they look okay they look okay they're not it's not like a great community but it's not a bad it doesn't look like a ghetto community so it looks like it's in between you know i would assume that the majority of people living here are probably ages anywhere from like 20 to like 50 um that's just my assumption being that you know the population here in brandon is a younger population but as y'all can see different types of homes a lot of these homes have like stones on them which is something that i like like that look at that house mm -hmm. see how it has like the stones in certain places i like that it gives it like character <clears throat> but as y'all can see these homes um pretty nice decent they're not all that you know some of them do need a little tlc but overall it's a decent little community here baby can you check what the average price of the home is here for a three three bedroom two bath home um look it up just type in uh just just do brandon florida or if you could do by location all right guys so we're gonna look up right now what the um you said three what? for a three uh three bedroom two bath home what the average price is here in brandon So for a three bed, two bath right here where we're at, three, no, 285,000. That is expensive. That's only 1,486 square feet. Okay. Let's see. Look at other ones. See if that's the average or that's just that one. Um, Keep looking. Everything else is on foreclosure. foreclosure. Okay. Find ones that are not foreclosure. Everything else is foreclosure. Foreclosure. Around okay. here. So that's area. probably pre-foreclosure. So, um, just type in Brandon, Florida yes. and see. So we're going to look up just Brandon, Florida. Um, not just the little area where we're in and check. All right, guys. So we're going to check out one more spot. And then we're probably going to call that a video. Because I would have to come back to do all of Brandon. I would take forever. Probably take a whole, I don't know, month to do all of Brandon, Florida. But, you know, we're just going to do a couple of spots here. So another one around the area Okay, so two hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. What else we got? We got two hundred and twenty. Mm -hmm. So okay, guys. So it looks like starting price here for a three bed, two bath is about two hundred and fifteen thousand dollars and up, um, depending on the area, Brandon. <clears throat> just so you guys can have an idea. Um, so we're actually gonna pull into this one called Woodbridge the second. So, so far already you can see that these have the more modern Florida homes type of vibe. So these homes are what I call like the Florida homes. Um, looks like we have a big home right there at the end. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see that though. So somewhere around here as well, mm -hmm. there's a four bedroom, two bath, mm -hmm. but you have less square feet. It's only 1,500 square feet mm -hmm. for $230,000. Wow, guys. Okay. So look at all. Oh, you guys won't be able to see these, but on the right, there's some huge two-story houses um, in this community. 
maybe they'll we'll catch some on the left oh there's one right there so that's a huge huge house right there so it looks like this community there's a lot of little there's a lot of two-story homes but yeah guys expect to pay um two hundred thousand and up for your uh three bedroom two bath home here um just the average you know starting price and they can run up to three hundred and thirty five thousand dollars 335 so anywhere from 200 to the 300 thousands um, around here which I would say is probably average well I would say for the area it's probably average but I've heard Brandon from many people that is quite expensive so um, it might you know it might be more expensive than Tampa I'm not sure yeah guys like i said you know if you guys like this content don't forget to like comment share and subscribe looks like we got a park here on the left this is heather lakes park so if you live here you got this park nearby looks like a lot of kids are playing all right so it looks like we maybe made it into some private uh no i think actually if i would have went that way would have been some homes all right, guys, we're going to about to get back on the main road here. Oh, this is a bad road to turn on. All right, guys, so that was it. It's actually getting dark and not really any homes around where we're at. Um, so that's going to conclude this Brandon, Florida video. I might make a video, another Brandon, Florida video if you guys want to. Um, I'll go and record different different area of Brandon. So let me know if you guys want to see that. And once again, guys, if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.